hey welcome back to the ida experience if you haven't been following me on my ivf journey go ahead and hit subscribe that way you can see how my journey has been from beginning to now hey guys it's me again we are going to talk today about actual prices of ivf okay i have my itemized receipt right here in front of me Whew, ivf is not cheap now i haven't even added everything I'm only gonna add it for this year alone, for just this this long cycle because I've been doing this for a while, as you know. By the way, guys, follow me on my journey. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Isn't that what I say? Smash it, smash it, guys. Smash the subscribe button. Everything that I have paid for for this year, leading up to transfer day. Towards the beginning of the year, I had lab work and ultrasound. Just those two was $465 for just ultrasound and lab work. Mind you, you get ultrasound and lab work during monitoring, which you go like once or twice a week. So bear that in mind. My monitoring got super intense during the month of August. Each time I went for my monitoring, the main thing that they checked after my initial labs, the main thing that they checked was my estradiol, my progesterone, and also just an ultrasound. Estradiol was $95, progesterone was $65, the ultrasound was $225. So each time I went for my lab work, if they were checking estrogen, progesterone, and ultrasound, the total cost was $385. This was done on the reg. I'm talking like once a week. Every now and then they changed it up. They'll add FSH and LH. FSH, $65. LH, $65. So, Whenever they did that, plus my ultrasound, I was paying $450. June of this year, I had another hysteroscopy. Now that is, they went inside my uterus and they kind of looked at it, make sure all my tubes are open, did a biopsy and all that stuff. That was $1,800. Yeah, $1,800. I am still in the process of IVF. I was going once a week to get my labs done. And the last way, routinely, it was always estrogen, progesterone, ultrasound. Just for a normal visit, it's $120. Normal visit. So when you add on the lab work and the ultrasounds, that's how it all adds up. Each visit, you are going to be doing ultrasound and lab work. So based on what you're checking, the price adds So each time I went for lab monitoring, it was reading from $385 to $505 based on just office visits alone plus my lab work plus my ultrasound. I got monitored a lot, so the money was just adding up. Okay. So we're taking care of the LH cost, FSH cost, progesterone cost, estradiol cost, and then ultrasound cost. Now it is transfer day and you have to like pay for all of that as well. To store the embryo, it was $600 a year, I believe. I think it's a year. So that money adds up. We've had the embryo in there for 2016. Our embryo has been frozen. So that's a long time. Embryo was seven years old. Our Frosty was pretty much in there for seven years. That's pretty amazing. But, um, so embryo thought. She thought the embryo was $900. To transfer the embryo, is $550, which is crazy. Now, I don't know what thawing looks like, but it transferred the embryo, it was pretty much sucked up into a tube, just put it in there, $550. For embryo transfer, $750. And then ultrasound guided for embryo transfer was $400. So in total, just for the embryo transfer, the FET cycle, like just the process of transferring the embryo cost $2,600. hers. $2, for this year alone, I try to add up all my payments. Now, this does not include what insurance covered. This is just the total like cash pay from the facility itself. Pregnancy test was $15. I got this receipt before my beta came out. In the past it was $15 to get my HCG completed. So that's actually not too bad. 
My total cost for this year alone, for this cycle, was $9,019. I pray that people are paying $20,000 to go through IVF. $9,915, it is a lot, but I really thought it would be much, much more than what it is now. So I guess technically it wasn't so bad. I am a little bit of a complex patient and I got lots and lots of like lab works done. So I reckon, I mean, any less lab work that I did would have cost a little bit less. Maybe for the perfect patients, if you were to go through this, it'd be a lot cheaper, hopefully. I don't know, but that's how much I paid for. This video was just merely to talk about the individual cost for IVF. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it in case you're considering IVF. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hey, welcome back to the IDA experience. If you haven't been following me on my IVF journey, go ahead and hit subscribe. That way you can see how my journey has been from beginning to now.